Consider this your one-stop shop for the cure to arachnophobia. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Myths, the series that finds the biggest myths that people actually believe and dispels them one by one. In this installment, we're dispelling 5 myths about spiders that bug us the most. And for the record, spiders aren't insects, so that previous pun doesn't have 8 legs to stand on. Yeah, that's right. I'm bad. Myth number 5. Daddy Longlegs have the most powerful venom. This one might be a little more obscure, but it does seem to be repeated fairly often online, leading many people to believe that these spindly-legged house invaders contain a powerful poison but don't possess the fangs to inject it. There's something a bit compelling about the smallest thing being the most powerful, like Will Smith's gun in Men in Black. But it's simply not true in this case. In fact, most creatures identified as daddy long legs are not spiders at all. The most common are actually harvestmen, a type of arachnid that has a single pair of eyes and like spiders, and contains absolutely no venom. What's more, the only similar spiders you might find, cellar spiders, contain only a very mild toxin that can cause nothing more than a slight irritation, like one of Will Smith's kids. I want to be more of like a superhero than a vampire, you know what I mean? But those are the two polarities in my personality. Myth number four, spiders are going to attack me. While you may be led to believe that spiders are hell-bent on pouncing at you, it's time to drop the broom and step off the stool. Spiders are not inherently aggressive. This myth may come down to humans' irrational fear of creepy crawlies, which many studies suggest is simply a product of cultural relativism, rather than evolution. By the way, I think I only wounded the spider. It crawled off into my bedroom. Wait, is that why you slept on the couch last night? <laughs> yeah, I slept. Spider specialist Rod Crawford claims that they're actually quite docile by nature, and has only been bitten a few times during his many years of study. Instead, spiders only bite humans if they feel threatened. So, as the old cliche goes, they're probably more afraid of you than you are of them. What could have killed it? The shock of seeing Lloyd? Myth number three, putting a spider outside is more humane than killing it. <laughs> you could have just stepped on it. Don't go taking the moral high ground with us on this one. While squashing these unwanted guests may seem a little cruel, escorting them off the premises leads to the exact same result. Though it's commonly believed that spiders inhabit our homes to escape the cold, the truth is they've actually evolved to create an indoor ecosystem. As Crawford suggests, when taken outside, they're stripped not only of their habitat, but also their source of nutrition. In fact, some spider breeds are estimated to have been domesticated over 2,000 years ago. Monsters don't make good pets, Hagrid. You could even go as far as to suggest that coexisting with spiders is beneficial to us, as they rid houses of common pests such as roaches, earwigs, and ants. Hey, you're on our turf, man. Hey, man, I, I cut you, I cut you up so bad, you, you're gonna, you're gonna wish I not cut you up so bad. Those are bad roaches. I blame the schools. So next time you grab the old glass and sheet of paper, remember you're just leading them to a different grave. Let's just learn to get along instead. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Myth number two. Spiders lay eggs under people's skin. I've got you under my skin. Sure, they may look like gigaresque horrors, but don't expect their babies to come bursting out of you. This myth could stem from Nobel Prize winner Carey Mullis' book Dancing Naked in the Minefield, in which he suggests that a brown recluse spider may scratch a hole into a human and lay her eggs inside. But there is simply no scientific basis for this. The truth is, spiders simply wouldn't be able to do such a thing as their egg-laying organ, known as the ovipositor, does not possess any means of injecting eggs at all. Though spiders could technically lay them on the surface of your skin, there would be no benefit to doing this. Instead, they choose to lay eggs in quieter, less threatening areas so all their beautiful, disgusting children are safely assured the gift of life, before inevitably swarming all over your face while you sleep. Speaking of which, myth number one, you swallow spiders in your sleep. Supposedly we all swallow a certain amount of spiders per year. This may perhaps be the most widespread myth about spiders. If you fell for it, that's reportedly all thanks to a social experiment conducted by one Lisa Holst in 1993. In order to prove that humans are a gullible bunch, Holst sent out a series of factually incorrect emails, including one about swallowing spiders in your sleep. But wait, the BBC among others say that this Lisa Holst person doesn't even exist. Myth within a myth, anyone? In truth, spiders don't have the innate urge to crawl down your gullet to their demise. 
As highlighted before, they're often rather reclusive and avoid confrontation with larger creatures. And as Rod Crawford highlights, there are no eyewitness accounts of Spidey suicide. So how many of these myths did you believe? This is what Google searches want to know about spiders. Do spiders actually have spidey senses? Is it true that it rains spiders in Jamaica? Do spiders poop? And by the way, yes, spider rain is a thing. <coughs> For more web-slinging top 10s and hair-whipping top 5s published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Rock and roll.